It's uh, interesting. But now today, uh, we have a very, very special guest in the building. This young man uh, has a project out right now, and uh, he has some music that he wants to talk about. Well, he's from the 757 area um, by way of other places, but we're going to get into that in a little bit as well. And uh, we're going to play some of his music today. This is what the Famous Radio Live was built on, is bringing people in to help them showcase their yeah. talent. And um, you just never know. People don't realize some people that have been broken in the industry has been through Famous. So we want to take the time to be able to help people and showcase that talent. Without further ado, I got the young gentleman right now. Here's your camera right here, too, brother. I don't know if you realize that, but they they seeing you can see them. Uh, go <laughs> ahead and introduce yourself to the people, man. I am Aries of Street Army. How you doing? Uh, Good evening. Drink. Welcome. Welcome to Famous Radio Live and the Vinyl Word Show. Thank you. Thank you. You're welcome. I'm over here spilling water all over the equipment. Like, <laughs> yeah. like, like a full on idiot. I'm like, ah. you, got company. you can't have people thinking that this your first day on the job. Come on now. <laughs> I got way too excited. I was like, yo, where's the water? Um, but nah, yes. um, thank you both for stopping in. I, I've known you for a very long time, and um, you've been doing some some great things throughout the years, and I've seen your advancement over the years and you've been kind of quiet but the this is how the universe works uh i was in the store doing some shopping and um i, I ran into him in the store and he's like yo what's up bro how you been he's like man it's been a minute we exchange information he's like i'm gonna get with you really soon and i'm like oh word yeah now i can't say this man a lot of people say that to me and just never get back uh -huh. but you stayed in contact and did what you say he's gonna do yeah man it's and a great uh, opportunity, man. Nah, I appreciate you, man, for even like you know hitting us up and, and jumping onto the show today. Uh, without you know further ado, man, like so tell the people a little bit about yourself, where you're from, and, and who you are. Okay, I am Aries of Street Army. I originate initially from Queens, New York. Um, my family moved down here. I got a chance to, you know, survive, uh, earn my stripes, evolve in Norfolk, Virginia, you know. And from there, I moved through the seven cities, making my music, uh, went in and out of the States, got a chance to go to Texas, different places, you know, try my music in, on New Year's. Um, I try to get on every stage that, that I can, you mm -hmm. know, um, I love to record. Um, I'm not only an artist, I'm an engineer and a producer. So, yeah, I love music in all aspects. I try to grow. Yeah. So you you have the street army thing behind you as well, yeah. and tell me a little bit like where where did the the idea for street army come from with you and your music? Okay, well back in the day, um, I sound kind of old because I am thirty seven, but uh, brother, you like you about twenty four. I appreciate it. That's appreciate that water and 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 all that good exercise nourishment yeah, you've been getting man. yourself. So um. Back in the day, you know, everybody had a crew. Everybody had, you know, an assembly of some sort, you know. And uh, me and my family, um, we were actually in the streets, but we were disciplined, you know, on a different level. Like, it wasn't always about gangster stuff. It was about, you know, an enlightened discipline. And, you know, so we came together as a unit, as a family. And uh, some of us were still in the streets. Some of us were still in music. But, you know, that's just what it is. Yeah. Street Army. Okay. All right, I like it. I like it. At what age for you uh did music take place? Like where did you start to realize at what age music is what you want to do? I've always knew I loved to perform, like uh from the beginning. But uh, my first studio opportunity was probably about 14 or 15 years old, trying to, you know, compose my first my very first song. And um, yeah, I, I realized it was fun. I realized you know, it's not always going to be easy, but I love being creative. Mm -hmm. Have you have you worked with like other artists? Have you been in a group? Or has it always just been you as a solo artist? Um, I started off by myself, but you know, like any other artist, like your friends, they want to do different things when you want to do it. But uh, over the times, people eliminated themselves not being as disciplined. Mm -hmm. So, uh, you know, I started off by myself, kind of group with some individuals thought we had like you know like energy but we didn't and uh i just kept i just kept going because i know what i started for I, I think a lot of times people realize that when you able to focus by yourself you get the most production out of that because 
you know, when you're in a group, that can be energizing too. So you're feeding off each other. But when you're by yourself, it's really you mm-hmm. and whatever you're feeling in that moment. And it can be the most authentic version of you. Yeah. And uh, so I can appreciate that for sure, man. Um, <clears throat> so who are some of the people that inspired you to do music? Like who was your, your top, if you had to say your top five, who's your top five in music? And this is a dope, intricate question because the people that I'm inspired by, the legends that I love and respect, I don't sound anything like them, mm. but I respect them for what they do. You know, I, I don't come from an area, uh, you know, an era of copycatting. So I'm going to give you some of the grace in my aspect. Um, I, th- I feel like Eminem, you know, um, definitely he let us know that freedom of speech, you could talk about an array of things, you mm. know, w- within your lyricism. DMX, um, he turned pain and proverbial way of thinking into music, mm-hmm. you know, um, Nas, you know, he was sharp and eloquent. Um, who else can I say? Tupac, you could feel every lyric. And and he was a, he was a workhorse when it came to the studio. Yeah. Um, 50 Cent, you got to all around respect him. Yeah, 50, I was watching some documentary on 50. People were talking about how he came into the game and what he portrays, what he was around all day. Shout, shout out to Southside Queens, man. Jamaica Queens, man. That's where I was born, man. You know what it is. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Th- those are some solid people, man. Especially when you um, you think of some of the great artists that we have before us. Uh, you de- definitely mentioned some people. I will say this though, what? only because I had this argument earlier. Uh, I had this argument earlier in the week, and I was like, I don't know if I ever had this conversation with anybody l- later on. But now you're here. I think Eminem, right? Great lyricist. Mm-hmm. Think he's overrated though. I mean, a lot of artists are, but the different thing, ways. Because you're not going to hear Eminem record in, in the club. They're not Def- playing. That. Definitely not. They're and, not playing in the club. And you're not going to ride that when you're going out of town. When you're going out of town, right? Anymore. That's not on your. That's not on your repeat list. If, if you think, you know what I mean. So I don't know. They argue me down. I'm like, I don't know. I, I, I can't get onto that, man. Like I really see, can't. See, my I can't brother, see that. my brother, helped me understand with different type of artists like you can't go to gucci man for a nas type of verse like they all carry a different vibration but m is definitely one of the greats for what he great for mm-hmm. but you know everybody not riding out listening to you know i want to kill my mom all week long right <laughs> <laughs> right yeah, I mean. but that's that's the fact um yeah. so so dj my love he you know he's a when i say music head kind of soul he's a kind of sort of music he picks music apart. He puts it back together. I want him to he'll, listen to my stuff. He'll like tell you, and if you want an honest opinion, music, he'll do it from a standpoint of a DJ. And um, to to uh, you laugh, so I had to put you on the screen, Mike. <laughs> Would you agree that Eminem? You're not. You don't want to listen to that all day long. You may want to hear a couple of the records, but do you you believe Eminem is not one of those type of artists? No, uh, no. For me, I think Eminem is more mood music. Okay. And I've, I've had this argument with a lot of people before, and they're like, oh, M will eat so-and-so up. But M has not really battled any prominent artists. Like, the M I remember, because I'm 37 as well, hmm. um, okay. he went at, like, Britney Spears, NSYNC, Backstreet Boys, Christina Aguilera, uh, Benzino, I see. Mariah Carey. Mm-hmm. Like he, he he never went against any any real battlers, which is not a bad thing, but it's like the I'd always see the arguments of oh M would eat so and so up, but it's like he's never done it before. But he was around when there was a lot of other great entities. Yeah, he would I remember be able to survive that time, you know. Yeah, I, mean? I remember he was uh he was on construction ruckus. Come on, man. You know Jay-Z is everybody's favorite, everybody's yeah. favorite. But he knew not that he knew not to poke at poke at the great white. The yeah, great yeah. White. I mean, M M is funny, and he has a really great way with words. I'm trying to find the, the right words to use to describe him because he's a good lyricist. He really is. Um, but I mean, I laugh like I laugh at when I listen to his songs because some of the stuff he says, like, who would think that? Too it's true. clever. It's really yeah. funny. And it flows. He's a great artist. I just don't. I don't think he's a battle rapper, but he's a great rapper. I get what you're saying. I get what you're saying too, bro. I get what you're mm-hmm. saying. That's almost like 
that's almost like the Cassidy Lane. You know what yeah. I mean? Like, like, yeah, Cass, yeah. Like Cass, like you know, his style is built for the combat, but when he gets out there to do the combat, it's almost it, it almost don't line up. It mm. it it don't. You know I mean? He has some good singles, but you know, uh, I don't hear anybody saying, "Yo, put that Cassidy on." Yeah, <laughs> yeah, definitely. Yeah, you may have one or two Cassidy records. Hotel. Play for like, yeah. I'm yeah. a hustler. That's it. That's all you got. Yeah, that was it. Those two, you're out of there. If if you're not, uh, if, if you if you want to hear Cassidy, either but, way, either way, when it come down to it, he just don't, he just don't do what he, you know, yeah, what he's supposed to be doing out there. I I think that M just had an engine behind him that was able to get him to where he went, and and that's fine. That's all good. Uh, well, back with to you, man. Speaking of like what people can expect when they listen to your music, if I'm a first time person that you know put that in, put that on to listen, what did, what can I expect? What you can expect from me, I'm gonna say, I'm gonna say pure. I'm gonna say I'm I'm not trying to be something that I'm not. Um, it's definitely edifying music. It's not nothing that you feel dumber when you finish listening to it. Mm. You know, um, it's original, of course, because when I when I go to make music, I don't reach for YouTube beats. I reach for people that I know and. Mm -hmm. talented you know we we drum it up from the bottom so it's definitely original yeah okay yeah well with that being said we're gonna take a quick break we're gonna uh, play one of your records man i have um favorite yeah it's uh produced by marcus rainey jr yeah okay. marcus darling productions yeah okay marcus right. okay. well we're gonna go ahead and jump into our record when we come back we got more with you man and uh we're gonna Pick your brain a little bit more. I appreciate it. All right, y'all keep it like right back. <laughs> Can you be the face I see when I be waking up? Shawty, what I like is she my favorite. Shawty fucking with me, I'm a favorite. Yeah. And you a real one, so we can keep in touch. We be chillin', vibin', we don't even gotta say too much. Hope the feeling lasts, I wanna savor it. When I'm deep inside, it's like a favorite. Yeah. Gotta write a song about it, I feel like I need to. Come and let me wrap you in my arms and let me squeeze you. Stomach full of butterflies every time i see you show affection non-stop i just want to please you my body like a work of art study in your art form grew up in the hood but one no thug cause she too smart for careful not to be a past how we got our hearts torn i had pain inside of me but she removed the sharp thorn swear you got me under spells what has taken over me body beauty in the brains that's because you're so unique it's just you and me so fuck the world that's how it's supposed to be everything is great they bust it like Give you the dopest thing. We put everything aside. You just let me know the play. So be intertwined. I feel connected when we hold a hand. She play innocent, but she's so dangerous. Always got my back. She what an angel is. This is real love. I know it can't be lust. Can you be the face I see when I be waking up? Shawty, what I like is she my favorite. Shawty fucking with me. I'm a favorite. Yeah. And you a real one. So we can keep in touch. We be chillin', vibin', we don't even gotta say too much Hope the feeling lasts, I wanna savor it When I'm deep inside, it's like a am I don't 